Ah, what beautiful scenery. Oh, hello everybody, and welcome to Oberkirchheim. So this is going to be a new survival series here uh, to go along with the survival series I have with uh, Riverview Farms. So I've actually bought a farm here. Well, I bought a farm. It was a farm under recommendation of a good friend of mine, Farm Sim Snowy. He actually went to great lengths to source this farm out. Uh, he even came and viewed it himself. Um, he has not really told me much about it apart from um, it's been unused for a few years. Um, so he said it was a complete steal. I mean, it only cost me about 32000 and it came with a free field, which I was quite surprised it would come with a free field. But are you admiring the view too, sir? It's a wonderful view, isn't it? Wonderful, wonderful. So he said there's lots of potential for the farm for what he can see. Um, so he's not really, as I say, he's not uh, said much about it. He's not shown me any pictures. He told me that it's just well worth jumping in. Um, they were struggling to sell it. Uh, he did admit that. Uh, but he says if I can get it then I'm sure I can turn it around and make it well worthwhile so we shall go and have a look at the uh, the farmyard that I bought uh, I think it's down the south he also told me to go to the the shop because there's a vehicle there for me so he uh, purchased a vehicle for me, Snowy did, so I appreciate that, so we'll go and have a look and see if we can find this vehicle. Excuse me. Uh, where? Oh, there's a couple of cars here. Is it one of these? No, it's not that. This one? No, it's not that one. So it must be around here. Oh, well, maybe it's not been delivered yet. Okay. Okay, okay. Undo. Oh. You have got to be kidding me. Are you serious? This is this is not my vehicle. This is owned by me. This is mine. This, are you... Snowy. Really, Snowy? You have got to be kidding me. It's pink. Couldn't you have picked a better colour? Oh, okay, I suppose. I'm going to have to look really ridiculous on a pink bike. Oh, well. Yep, I look ridiculous. Okay, I suppose let's go and uh, ride our little pink bike here. Ooh, 18, 90 miles an hour. Ooh. Right, the farmyard is down this way. Now, got to make sure I drive on the correct side of the road. And then it's down this way. So, yeah, it's supposed to have a lot of potential. So, this could be interesting. I can't wait to see it. I really can't. I'm so excited to see it. Some windmills. I wonder if I've gone the right way, actually. Have I gone the right way? I think I have. Yeah, there's the field. This is the field here. It's got grass growing. Oh, nice. And someone has already been looking after it while I was waiting to purchase it. That's very nice. And, oh, look at this. Here we are down this way. So it's just down here, and this is where our farmyard is. So, oh wow, see these hills are beautiful. They're beautiful, really nice. I would like to climb them, I really would. Anyway, this is, uh, this, this is not my yard. What is this? Can I even get the gate open? 
Let's even lock the gate. Oh, dear, dear me. Please tell me this is not the yard. I hope I, I hope someone's going to have me done for trespassing. I'll park the bike here. Oh my goodness, where where am I? Where where on earth am I? You this this is not this this is really not good. This is not This is not a yard. This is this is a dump. This is an absolute dump. Well, Snowy, you've really outdone yourself this time. Thank you very much, sir. I really appreciate it, my friend. I really, really appreciate it. Wow, wow, this is this is a, this has been abandoned for a lot longer than what he's told me. And I cannot return this. This was actually bought as a, a keep. I can't get a refund on this. What is this? A seed dispenser. Seeds. Well, look how old it is. It's, it's, wow. It is well weathered. And someone put some bits and pieces down. Where, I don't even know where I'm going. I really just walking through hedges why on earth would snowy want me to buy this and oh wait a minute i know why he's done that oh snowy 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 you've really done it this is all because of that incident on the western wilds isn't it snowy yep I gave you the wrong pressure washer, so you decided to try and get your own back on me. So you made me buy this absolute jungle. Oh, dear, dear me. What am I to do with this? This is going to... This is a disaster. An absolute disaster. Oh, we got a small chicken coop, at least. I don't even know where the house is. Oh, oh, there it is. It's about the only thing that looks decent on this yard. Oh, and another bike. Well, that broom is not going to help me get rid of all this. I've come here with £14,000. Well, just under 15000 and I have no idea if I'm going to... Oh, goodness gracious me. Oh, oh. I'm going to... I hope that I hope that house has a shower with running water because I'm gonna need it after this walking through all this. What have we got here? Well, I'll tell you what we have here, something that is absolutely ancient and about to fall down. So I'm not gonna stand underneath that. It looks like um fertilizer maybe. Fertilizers, yeah, I would think it is. Um oh dear lord, dear me. I'm actually going to cause myself. I'm going to end up in a hospital before I end up doing any farming. I really do not know how this is going to work. Well, the first thing I'm going to need to do is uh, take down that part of the fence from the gate. Oh, hello, dear. Uh, what else is going to jump out at me? Snakes, maybe? Um, yeah, we'll need to take that bit of the fence down that's been blocking the gate. Uh, well, it's not a bad size shed, this, though. But, Snowy, I will get you back for this. I, I really will. I'll get you. I'll get you. Because this is, uh, yeah, they say the sky's the limit, but this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Have a look inside this shed and see if there's anything in here. I don't think there'll be much in here well worth. I've got a, a hammer. Uh, some wood. Oh, and is that another brush? I do not think any brushes are going to help me. It's going to take a lot more than a brush to help me. Oh, we've got some bits and pieces here anyway. Anything in there? Nope. Right, okay. I suppose... Uh, 
we just go ahead and do what we normally do then I'm gonna have to make enough money to get rid of all these hedges I'm gonna have to get rid of these trees this a bit of money to be made with the trees but there's a couple of trees I noticed that are not these ones here are not going to be some of these are not going to be viable to cut down I did see a couple of them but wow wow you know what I'd rather be up at the top of that mountain trying to plough stone with that bike I would rather try and plough the stone of that blooming mountain there with the bike oh. I have no idea what I'm going to do first well I think the first thing we're going to do is try and get rid of this fence here so we'll go into Right, let's get down to perfect. So that's that done. Let's get on to our super duper pink bike. And you know what? Oh, I'm going to keep the bike pink. I don't care. I'm not going to let it get to me. I am not going to let it get to me. We'll just park the bike in here. Let's park it in here. right okay guys so what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to take a walk into town i'm not going to take that bike i am just going to leave it there just now uh, i'm going to take a walk i would like to redo all this fencing as well this is just rickety old fencing it's falling apart oh i gotta get this yard all done so i'm gonna to have to try and make enough money to get some sort of trailer and a vehicle to get rid of these trees so I'm going to take a walk into town and uh, we'll see if there's any contracts going. So I'll see you very shortly. All right, welcome back everybody. So I've taken on a fertilizing contract for field 35. There are a few fertilizing contracts. Uh, so I'm going to make my way up to there. Let's see if there's the other contracts are quite close. So we've got 32. Uh, let's have a look see so the one we're going to is not 25 which one was it now let's have a look here again uh, 35 sorry 35 so where's 35 there's 35 32 is right there so we can take that one as well we'll take that one Feel 32 uh, field 25 and 20, they should be relatively close. There's 25. Um, do, 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 do. 25, we'll take that as well. We'll take 25. So we'll jump in here into the Voltra. I'm not gonna need the I'm not gonna need the weight. Right, so let's buy some fertilizer. Uh, let's have a look here, we'll look at the pallets. Uh, so what the plan is, uh, as I forgot to remove it from the, the mods, which I'm hoping I can still do, um, is there's gonna be no super strength you know liftable bales liftable pallets none of that so everything's going to be done to the book um if we go into the the settings i've kept the settings on to economic normal everything is on apart from the crop destruction because some of the fields are quite close and it's just going to be near impossible to uh, but if i do start to work it out i'll uh, probably put that back on uh, but the helpers are all off for uh, refilling seeds and fertilizers and stuff. So basically it's going to be done where we're not, not cheating basically. 
so that's the hope anyway that we can do that so and I hope that we managed to do this because uh, yeah so we have got the the farm supply pallet packs which I will be using um, these are an absolute godsend if you've not seen these I suggest you go and get this because for £1,000 I can get 5,000 litres of fertiliser so we're gonna go and grab one of them eh, grab another one might as well if they're only a thousand so now we'll fill this big boy bad boy up I'll get reimbursed for any fertilizer that's left over anyway from inside the, uh, the fertilizer spreader so I'm not too worried so what we'll do is since we're here we'll head to 25 then go to 32 then go to 35 It could be easier if I just uh, use the equipment that I get from leasing vehicles for contracts rather than using the, the specific and then going back, handing it in, getting another one. And, you know, some of them are the same anyway, so it's, it's it makes no difference. I've only taken this one. It's got a bigger tank uh, capacity and it's going to do a lot more fertilizing contracts for me. So, let's go and find field 25, which should be this one. Is it this one? I'll get into the bigger map. No, that's 24. Right. Difficult to see with my icon on the right let's get these contracts done and let's see where we stand money wise this could take a good while to get enough money together to do what I need to do anyway but as I say I've got you know I wondered why Snowy had actually turned around and told me to buy a chainsaw. I thought, well, there'll be a few trees here and there. Nothing too major. It'll give me something extra income. But I never in my born days thought that he'd be talking about getting a chainsaw because my yard is full of the trees. Because it's been abandoned for about 20 years by the looks of things. So that's that one finished, and then we'll go on to the next one. Let's see, maybe get all the, the fertilizing contracts done. The fields are not too far away anyway, so it's, uh, it's such a nice little map. I mean, everything is, is close together. It's... Uh, I'm missing a huge amount of that field because I'm not close enough to the edge. Um, everything's so close together. It's a nice small map. And they've updated this map. They've added five new fields, which are, are the fields you're seeing at the top. Uh, 47, 48, 49, 50 and 46. So they've added that. They've just expanded that, which is amazing. Um, I'm hoping that you know in time they'll be able to do more with the map maybe and um, especially if I'm you know still doing the series on it uh, which would be absolutely great uh, they've added the castle as well which I need to go and visit which is right up right up there so that's going to be interesting to go and visit that right that off a second because I need to right reverse eighty percent complete so 
so I hope everybody's doing well and I hope everybody's having a it's Friday night for me so I'm hoping everybody's having a good Friday um, or had a good Friday should I say because this video will come out on Saturday so I hope you're all having a great Saturday <laughs> Right, okay, so we're going to go down here and we're going to get to the next field, which is over there behind that trees. Cut down here. Would have been nice if uh, the trees weren't right in the middle of the path. Well, it's not even a path really, is it? But I'm going to make it out it's a path. So we're going to get these ones done. We'll collect these contracts. Um, <coughs> I need to find out which one was the biggest amount because that is where this one came, this uh, equipment came from. I don't want to collect on that contract yet if I want to do the other contracts. So it will be interesting to see the... Um, Um, what word I'm looking for the input from everybody uh, about what they think this series will be like and where they hope it'll go um, I think one of my main goals is to get one of the farms uh, looking at getting the one up at the top which I'll tell you what we'll do we'll have a look at um, in a moment once I've done this contract on this field here we'll have a look at that new farm because I'm not actually looked at it myself um, and to be honest I haven't really gone around the whole map I've done a flyover uh, but I've not really gone around the map as such uh, because it's small it'll, it won't take us long to have a, to see the whole map anyway as we're playing along with the survival uh, challenge so well, I say survival challenge more just like a survival series survival series let's play type thing so yeah my main goal would be to try and get one of the the, the farms so I'm not sure how much they cost uh, I don't think they're relatively that cheap but we'll have to have a look and at some point as well I'm going to get in contact with uh, my good friend Snowy and I'll thank him so much. You'll probably be watching this anyway, so um, I want to th once again thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to come down here to Oberkirchheim and have a look at this farm and persuade me to buy it. I can't think of a better thing to do than to buy an abandoned farm that's been abandoned for about 20, 30 years and uh, yeah, realise that yeah, it's going to take me a long time so I'm not going to be making money like like a gold mine in this because as you can see with the size of the fields that we have some of them are, are relatively small I mean 24 is a small field um, it's yeah it's like field 20 621 pound field 11 is bigger you know so right so that one we'll collect on that one collect on that one and we'll accept that one and that one so 11 and 13 next which are over the other side there So, I mean, basically, it's going to be like a farmhand um, job, really, just to help out in the farms, uh, help with the help the farmers, and uh, basically just take it from there, really, and then see if I can get myself a vehicle, which I will need to get because then, darn if I'm going to be using that bike for anything. It's uh, it's a Oh dear, we're at the end of the road. 
Oh, and yeah. Can we get through here without hitting the building? Oh no, I've, I've not even spent one day here and I'm already destroying the place. Right, so. Number 13's over the other side. I should have gone across the bridge there. Uh, right. Perfect. Can we get across this bridge? Yeah. Yeah, we should be able to, yeah. So. Number 13 is here. This is quite a small field anyway. No wonder it was only... I mean, to be honest... Oops. Wrong button. To be honest, for the price they were paying, it seems relatively a good price to pay to get uh, a field this size fertilized. So, yeah, I'll take that. Well, this should be done any minute now. Any minute. And then we'll get on to number 11, finish that off. And then... Right, field 11, which is this one right here. Ooh, sunflowers. And we'll get this one her uh, fertilized as well. Try and get myself in a straight line here. Thank you. But yeah, it's a wonderful map. It's actually nicely detailed. I like it. I like the detail on it, and I love the the hills in the background. That's that's one thing I like about some some maps is the the backgrounds are so nice. Um, yeah, it's it's like a a drop in image, but it's still. You know, it does still add a bit of character to the the map that you're playing on. Right. So we'll get this finished and I think we'll just collect on the wall and then we'll go up and have a look at that farm up by between field 47 and 48. We're going up and have a look. Maybe that might be worth one buying. Um, there is the yard right in front of us there. There is one there. Um, not really explored any of the other uh, maps, so to speak. So I noticed everybody getting the uh, Platinum expansion for Farming Simulator 22. I'm still in a bit too minds about getting it, to be honest. I mean, I don't mind the logging maps. Um, and the vehicles are, you yeah, they know, look, they look amazing. But I'm just in two minds as to whether I want to wait to see what year two brings. And in my opinion, I don't think they're going to be really making another game. Because they put so much effort into this game that it would be such a... To me, it's to be like a letdown, you know. There, you've had the game for a year. Let's go on to the next, the next year. And no, it's it's not for me. Yeah. Uh, I'd rather get caught, you know. On, oh, what am I doing? Um, get caught. Get, I lost my train of thought there. Get caught, get caught. What was I getting caught for? Oh, getting caught out by Snowy. That's what. Well, this. The last time I ever take his advice to buy a farmyard, that's for sure. Right, where have we. Have turned myself around here. Uh, where are we now? What have I missed? I bet I've missed a load of it. Be down around here somewhere. Loading, loading, loading. Really? I'm fertilizing. We're supposed to be.
Yeah, so the last uh, the last time I was uh, setting up this gameplay, I had everything all set up and pretty much ready to rock and roll, really. Uh, don't know what happened, but as soon as I had purchased a chainsaw, the whole screen went completely blurry, as if, you know, my character had been one too many bevies, so to speak. Stop that a minute, because are we finished that contract. Have I been yapping away that... No, Field 11 is still going. Um, yeah, it completely went blurry, and I thought, oh, no. I thought it was like a... Some sort of mod conflict of some kind. Um, but, uh, yeah, definitely unsure about why that happened. And it was it was weird. It really was. It was... Well, it was kind of like um, someone had like throwing water in your eyes and then you open your eyes and it's just like a horrible hazy nasty vision and that's exactly what happened so I thought to myself I'll uh, just I'll save it you know thinking maybe it's not the game itself it was something else maybe my TV um, but it wasn't I saved it went out went back in it was still blurry and I thought oh no I'm going to have to restart the whole thing again. So, yeah, that's the reason why this um, series hasn't started as quickly as I thought because of that um, incident. Right. Uh, did I turn that off? Yeah, I did. Right. Perfect. So what we're going to do is we are going to complete that contract. So take that, take that, and take that. And that's not too bad actually up to 33,000 already but I need a vehicle so um, we can have a look at the catalogue at the small tractors now the way that I want to try and work this out with the tractors is I don't want to be going large I want to stick to medium at the most but kind of a smallish medium tractor uh, but the small tractors are the main ones I'm going to be using. Um, yeah, the, these are the main ones I'm going to be using. I uh, was going to get the John Deere, this one. But only 50 horsepower, it's difficult to find up uh, anything that's going to go with that. Um, there's also the Massey Ferguson's, these A85 horsepower. Uh, so yeah, what what uh, what tractor should I start with to aim for to start with, or do any of you guys have any recommendations of a really good uh, small tractor to start with? Leave it in the comments section below. That would be greatly appreciated. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump over because I don't know what's in this farm. Well, we've got cows anyway. That's for a start. There's cows in it. Oh, wow. So the farmyard's not up for sale yet, but you never know. It might do some points soon. So we've got the cow barn. We've got a big shed. A nice size shed, actually. Oh, it's a nice size shed. Um, a house, obviously. What else have we got? Is there anything else? Oh, yep, yeah, we got uh, the attached parts from the, um, the cow shed. Yeah, so we got some cows already in there, so if the the new owner is... Well, the owner is supposed to be putting it up for sale at some point, but I'm sure he'll take his cows with him. But how much is that yard now? 43,000. We, we could potentially get that quite quickly, actually. Um, really don't want to be doing that too quickly, though, because of... Uh, yeah, it's going to be quite easy to get that yard. Um, I mean, there is the possibility of... That one's only 35,000. That's a small one. 
the only thing is it doesn't come with any fields. I've only got this field here, which is uh, number 26. Uh, or did it come with it? No, it didn't come with number one. So we've got that this one up here. Uh, we've got another one somewhere, I think, over here. Well, we'll have to have a good think about how the series wants to pan out. So it's literally, I think it's only three, three yards farm yards. Well, yeah, this this is a farm yard supposedly. Uh, that one and the one up there. So I'm thinking maybe one of these could be just for animals. If I buy one of these, whether it be that one or that one, I could actually have just my animals on it. Uh, how many cows does that hold? Uh, only holds 45 cows. So I'm sure I can work something out with that. Down, maybe down with a bit of smoothing there, but just small bits that I'm, I'll pick up that I'm not... Uh, yeah, I'm not going to be... getting angry over it or anything but so so I think what we're going to do is we're going to leave the we're going to leave this episode here so if you enjoyed what you saw guys please leave a like and uh, please leave a comment in the comment section below and if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing and hit that notification bell so you are informed of all my uploads and then I'm going to go and see what I can do with this absolute disastrous jungle of a farmyard. And yeah, I'm going to be making a phone call to our good friend, Farm Sim Snowy. So guys, I wish you all a wonderful day and have a good morning, good e afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. And until next time, bye for now.